A North Carolina woman is reunited with her purse after it had been missing for 30 years. Where and how it was found may be hard to believe. Maria Debon has the story from the historic Liberty Theater in downtown North Wilkesboro. So as we were demolishing this space, we were taking out some pieces from the ceiling and it actually fell out of the ceiling and literally hit one of our guys right on the head. One of the new co-owners of the Liberty Theater, Mick Zolpo, tasked his wife with finding the rightful owner, and it didn't take long. Yeah, it's very interesting. I was excited. Sherry Church was 17 years old in 1992. She says she came to the Liberty Theater all the time with friends, and one day she lost her purse with several important items inside. And here was the famous birth certificate in which they found me with. A birth certificate, an old job application, a class schedule, makeup, pictures, and more, all lost for 30 years. So opening all of this back up, does it just bring back a lot of memories from when you were in high school? Oh yeah, uh, some of the people I didn't even remember I had pictures of. But no money was inside. I think someone has maybe taken it gone through and maybe taken the money out, come into this little closet because it was a staff right. only space, hidden the evidence upstairs well, and made their way. Well, that's what we thought. So. Sherry even kept coming back to the theater throughout the years, never knowing the purse was there all along. Yeah, I never knew. So I've been here, my purse has been here, never knew. <laughs> and now the purse is a part of the theater's long history. But there's a lot of um, unsubstantiated rumors of people like Elvis or Patsy Cline being here, which kind of add to the, the feel of this theater. Um, and I think the purse now is part of that 91 year history like those stories is. 